Hello and welcome back to the Quiet Part Podcast. My name is Chris. How's everybody doing? All right, we got a couple more segments to get to today, so let's get right into them. Before I do, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, maybe even leave a like and a comment. I will respond to those and let's get right into it. This from the Daily Wire. Senator Blackburn requests subpoena of Jeffrey Epstein's estate demanding infamous flight logs. The Tennessee Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn asked Senate lawmakers on Thursday to approve a subpoena against the estate of deceased wealthy financier and convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, demanding Congress gains access to flight logs from his private plane. Given the numerous allegations of human trafficking and abuse surrounding Mr. Epstein, we've got to identify everyone who could have participated in this horrific conduct, Blackburn said in a news release. Honestly, she's not wrong. I don't know if her intentions are exactly for the right reasons, but I do believe she needs to get these logs. I believe we need to see those logs, and we need to understand who and when people flew to Epstein Island, when they flew on his plane, what took place on those plane flights, what took place on the island. I I haven't forgotten. We want to see the little black book, the whole list. Um... I don't think many other people have forgotten that as well. Um, Overall, I think we really just want to know. We want to put this entire chapter behind us and move forward and prevent it from ever happening again. Blackburn announced she filed a request during a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing surrounding Senator Dick Durbin's attempts to investigate Supreme Court ethics issues. Amid a fiery exchange between the two lawmakers, Blackburn announced a series of subpoenas, including the one against Epstein's estate. I think it's very important that we identify everybody that was on that plane and how many trips they took on that plane and the destinations to which they arrived. Again, she is not wrong. It's very important that we know these things. It's very important we figure out how he did that for so many years under the radar without... Anyone seeming to get caught, despite the number of high-profile people that we already have an idea of flew on the plane. Um, realistically, I don't know what's going to come of it, but I think we, we the people, do deserve to know this. Epstein died in his New York prison cell on August 2019 while awaiting trial for sex trafficking charges that involved running a vast network of underage girls for sex. He pleaded not guilty to the charges prior to his death at 66 years old. Insider previously reported that Epstein had owned at least three private jets, including a Gulfstream II, sold in November 2013, a Gulfstream IV, sold before his arrest, and a Boeing 727, nicknamed the Lolita Express, which infamously transported prominent individuals and girls all around the world. The so-called Lolita Express private jet has been the subject of controversy amid the accusations brought against Epstein, and in particularly the flight records connected to the plane that supposedly include the names of those who traveled with him. Those records, along with his client list, are probably among the things I want to see the most. Again, sunlight is the best disinfectant. We won't know who, what, when, where, and why, until we know those things. Uh, What what deals were struck to prevent this from happening? Uh, We we know there have been very, very powerful people behind this, as little bits of information has come out, but I don't think we've ever seen the full contents, so it should be interesting. In December of 2021, prosecutors reportedly released thousands of flight records in the sex trafficking trial of his alleged accomplice, Ghislaine Maxwell, who pleaded not guilty but was ultimately convicted. In addition to who flew on the plane, the 118-page collection of flight logs reportedly contains other information such as dates, points of departure and arrival, number of landings, and the pilot's signature. Victims of Epstein and one of his pilots have since come out and claimed that public figures, including Bill Gates, Prince Andrew, and Donald Trump, traveled with a disgraced financier. 
Insider reported flight manifest unsealed in a defamation case against Maxwell included former President Bill Clinton, supermodel Naomi Campbell, and astronaut John Glenn. FAA records obtained by Insider found Epstein's jets flew mainly between his former primary residences in New York and Palm Beach and his estates in Paris, New Mexico, and the Virgin Islands. At at the end of the day, what is done is done. But for the people that were impacted most by this, where is the justice? Where is the accountability of the people that made this happen? I mean, I, I realize Epstein died. Um, the details surrounding that were pretty mysterious as well. Ghislaine pleaded not guilty, was convicted, but still nothing came from that. At, at what point are people truly going to ask? People paid for a service, whatever that was, whether it was giving Epstein money directly, whether it was blackmail, I don't know what, but something was transferred between parties here and people, I'm going to call them wealthy elite, powerful people, they wanted something in return. They did something and they received something. We cannot allow for this behavior to continue. This society cannot allow for that. And the only way we can truly make sure that we close the door on this past trauma is to get it all out there in the open and we can actually start picking up the pieces of society and moving forward again. I don't know. Maybe I'm idealistic. Maybe I'm crazy. I at this point, can't tell. Uh, But leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Before I get into my outro, do you still love the iconic sci-fi and space opera franchises but feel like they took a wrong turn along the way? Then the new journey of the Starscape Chronicles eagerly awaits you. Escape to the Starscape. Dun-dun-dun. Uh, Yes, today I am talking about a book series from a friend of mine, Jeremiah McRoberts. Uh, He's got seven books already written and more to come. Uh, For that, I just simply want you to visit www.starscapechronicles.com to check out the books, ebooks, and links to free audiobooks. Currently, there are seven books built in the Starscape universe from different perspectives. Together, they establish a galaxy of ongoing adventures that will continue for decades to come. Seriously, everyone, I I recommend everyone check this out. I personally will be doing the same thing. This is a veteran-owned small business. Uh, If you're listening to me, you know that I like Tim Pool. And one of the things Tim Pool says a lot is stop giving your money to people that hate you. Jeremiah here does not hate you. And he'd be happy to entertain you and keep you enthralled for hours to come and what is a great series. Uh, Go ahead and check it out. All right. Thank you for tuning in. If you like that content and want more of it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. Uh, These are all things that tell me that you like what you see and you want more of it. Um, Beyond that, you can find me at Real Chris Noski on Twitter. You can find me at Patreon.com, The Quiet Part Pod. There I will be uploading additional content, stuff you will not find on YouTube. Uh, It should be a great time. Check it out. Thank you.